Hey everyone, I have to apologize. I just had a computer update happen right smack dab in the middle of your reading and I didn't notice that it was the countdown like it's going to reset unless you tell us not to and it reset right in the middle of your reading. So I'm going to try to remember where I was because that's been like 15 minutes. So um, we're just going to go over the reading again. I'm so, so sorry. All right, so we come into the reading. We have the High Priestess. She's in the upright and she's in the reverse with the moon here. So this tells me that someone's getting clarity on something they didn't have clarity on before and they're working straight with spirit. And I feel that strongly. You also have this very spiritual card of judgment and you also have the hermit. These are all really spiritual cards to me. This is also someone who goes within and is now enlightened about something they felt really in their head about eight of swords. All right, now you're overcoming something. Six of Wands, beautiful. These judgment, Six of Wands, these are gorgeous. These are all gorgeous cards, really. And we have this uh, Four of Pentacles as a challenge. Whatever was going on here that had you Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, had you stuck, you've been enlightened. Um, it's almost like, a, a, like an awakening, like this aha moment of, oh my gosh, I'm enlightened about whatever this is. And if we look back at some of the past, we have more working with spirit. Look at this magician working with spirit and why to get clarity on something. And look how they both look the same working with spirit and why, because this is two of swords trying to get clarity where we don't see something. So we have to tap into that energy um, intuitively to get this information. Yeah, because lack of clarity, sun reversed back there about something that's kept us completely stuck. Knight of Wands reversed, same energy. Um, absolutely, two of wands trying to figure out which way to go in a situation by tapping into our intuition and calling on spirit and working with the universe. High priestess, magician, the hermit, beautiful. The judgment card, working with spirit, trying to figure out two of wands, which way to go in a situation. And we're going to turn that wheel 10 of, um, I don't know why I always call it the 10 of, it's the wheel. It is the number 10 card. We're going to close out an old cycle and we're going to start a new cycle. The judgment card is two tens down here. It's a 20 card, but I always see it as two tens. You're closing out an old cycle and starting a new one, but it's all coming in with this, um, this feels like an epiphany, right? Like, and here's the King of Cups. This could be your energy or someone else's. Doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. Um, I feel as though there's like this beautiful um, sense of freedom that's coming in. This beautiful change in energy coming in. Um, clarity coming in with the Page of Swords here. I asked what the High Priestess was getting clear on here. What is she... You know, what did she work on the universe with to go within to get this clarity that she has? And guess what I got? More clarity with the page, with the page of swords and the ace of cups right there. It's on hold in reverse, but that doesn't mean you're not getting it. It's, um, this, it's this new energy that's coming in for you. You're overcoming something and it's a big deal. It's judgment card and six of wands. It's the hermit already being enlightened. It's the moon reversed. I have this enlightenment. I needed this enlightenment so that I could turn this wheel. It's beautiful. It really is. Let's take a look at this four of pentacles as a challenge. What do we need to know four of pentacles as a challenge? This four of pentacles was that energy of I can't budge and now that's done. Queen of Pentacles, beautiful. So it doesn't matter whether you're the King of Chalices or the Queen of Pentacles. This is some beautiful energy. This can be, um, you could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. You could have uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. A lot of Virgo coming through here. Um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio is all over this entire reading. Um, it could be anybody, really, but it, it's just showing that you have a, um, this whatever was holding you back is now moving forward there could be you and another person involved or it could just all be your energy right all right so this just shows um no more stuckness this has been a problem for you this um now keep in mind when we're talking about readings and this is all readings not just this reading all readings when we're talking about um this sense of uh clarity when we're talking about this um, 
release from what's been holding us back and all this energy of working with the universe and getting this clarity and getting released from something. This could be physically getting released from something, right? And real clarity coming into a situation that's tangible, physical information you needed to get released from something and overcome something, right? Or this is all emotional or mental or metaphorical, okay? So keep that in mind. And that's with every single reading you're ever going to watch. You might see something and you're like, oh, wow, this is going to happen for me. Some of it is more of um, an internal thing that's happening. You got to remember that when you're watching a reading. Try and think of it in relation to what you've been going through. All right, let's take a look at, at um, the Six of Wands because the Six of Wands is a beautiful card of victory. Tell me about the Six of Wands up there. What do we need to know about it? It's also a card of overcoming. Okay, now we have the Knight of Cups reversed and we have the Lovers reversed. Here they are in the upright. Um, this has to do with... Um, when I see this, this is like someone who's like making a decision. You know, the, the Lovers card can be a decision, but someone who's coming into... Um, I do feel like, look at the, the lovers and how there's like this passionate connection between these two people. This has been something that hasn't been easy, um, like to get to for some reason. And finally, and look at how he's looking at her and she's, um, he's, um, and look at how they're hand fat. Are they hand fasted together? Is that his hand or hers? I guess it's his. I don't know. It's hard to say. But, you know, there's a bond here between these two people. And it's been hard to get to. But look, we end up with, you know, this this um, success in this area, whatever it is. Let's find out what judgment is. So these two must be where, we, where there was nothing happening between these two people. Somebody's going to make the... Um, Somebody's going to get clarity on this. I don't know what it is. Are you going to get clear on the connection between you and another person? Or are they going to get clear on a connection between you? Tell me about judgment. What do we need to know about judgment? Okay, wow. All right, so we have the uh, devil reversed and the seven of cups reversed. Absolutely. So whatever held you back, devil and four of pentacles and the knight of uh, wands back here, all these cards of being stuck, the eight of swords was the devil energy, okay? But what was needed to get you out of it and put it in reverse was the clarity. You needed to get clarity, and now you have it. You have the clarity that releases you, beautiful, from this stuck energy. Wow, really nice. It's beautiful. So this, um, this aha moment, this judgment, this beautiful energy really has to do with clarity. It's like that epiphany, that aha moment, which is what exactly what I thought it was. It's like somebody gets this clarity, working with the universe, calling on spirit, listening to your guides, listening to your intuition, um, meditating, calling on spirit, whatever you're doing, it is paying off big time because it's giving you, look at this, I kid you not, more clarity, the Knight of Swords. It's bringing you all this clarity that's, it's almost like it's an awakening, a renewal, right? All right, let's look at the Hermit Reverse because clarity comes in and it has to do with that Eight of Swords, that stuckness. Tell me about the Hermit Reversed with the Eight of Swords. Absolutely. Four of Swords. This is all about the healing that's happening within you have been going through some kind of healing within um, that's been life-changing, really. It has to do with, are you overcoming, was this a breakup, the lovers reversed and the Knight of Cups? Is this a breakup you're overcoming? Let me take one more look at it. I want to know about the Six of Wands one more time. What does it have to do with the lovers reversed and the Knight of Cups reversed? 
I feel like this was a breakup that you had to, like, you're almost like you survived it. Tell me about the Six of Wands. What is this about? Wow. Okay. It could be a decision that needs to be made in a relationship. So we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Two of Swords again. Please, Spirit, tell me what to do about this decision that I feel so stuck in, that I have no clarity in, and has kept me from being able to move forward. Please, Spirit, I'm working with you and I'm listening to you, and please help me turn my wheel. Okay, so I feel as though you've been trying to make um, the right decisions for your love life, and that's really what it feels like. Um, tapping into your intuition, listening to your spirit guides, breakups where breakups need to be, makeups where makeups need to be, like you're listening to your intuition. I think it's going to be a little different for everyone, but for a lot of you, you're listening. It's just you tapping into that intuition, knowing what spirit's trying to tell you, getting clarity that you didn't have before, really, really going within. Um, this has been very healing for you, by the way. You're really going through a healing period. For some of you, you listened and your guides got you away from somebody that you needed to get away from. For others of you, you're making decisions based on the guidance that's been giving to, given to you. So um, you're still in the midst of this. For a lot of you, you're still tapping into your intuition. Your new beginnings are on hold over here because you're still working. I mean, everywhere I look, you're working with spirit. I'm working with spirit. I've gotten the clarity. I'm working with spirit. I'm working with spirit back here. I mean, it's everywhere. It's all leading to this beautiful Ace of Cups that's right here on hold. Um, you're still in the midst of a healing period here. Um, I feel as though, and you're still making decisions over here as well. Um, you're really trying to pay attention while making these decisions to make sure that you're um, clear. You need, this is clarity is so important to you and you're getting it. My God, are you getting it? Look, this freedom brings, this clarity brings in this freedom or this freedom uh, brings in this clarity, one or the other. There's something here about this a renewal, awakening, epiphany of some sort. We're going to pull a couple of angel cards and see what the angels have to say about this. Angels, what do we need to know about this um, for anyone who's guided to see it? What else do we need to know about it? Just one or two. Just one or two more, please, from the bottom. Depth, brotherhood, sisterhood, and release. Wow. Okay, well, you've definitely been going deep. I can tell you that. You've been going deep. Sisterhood, brotherhood, and release. All right, so this tells me I want to get one more on sisterhood, brotherhood right here, please. I feel like you're trying to just look, let's give it a little shuffle. What do we need to know about sisterhood, brotherhood? Could we, could we get another one? Play. All right, so this is good. All right, so you're starting to see um, who is in your highest good and who isn't. And that's what I see going on up here. So the truth is there might be someone involved here that actually is. I mean, we do have King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles who both look really good. Doesn't really matter who's who. But um, this is you trying to really see who's in your best good and who's not really trying to see i mean because the ten of cups is here and the six of wands i think i feel like um you're focused more on friendships than you are love right now um or you're focused more on trying to get to know somebody rather than you know um jump right into things with them and i think that's really really good because sisterhood brotherhood and play who can i hang out with who can I trust? Who can I um, see myself enjoying my life with that isn't going to hold me back, hold me down, or cause me a lot of stress, right? Uh, we don't want the toxicity. Uh, the release, the depth and the release has a lot to do with, um, this is like this thing that held you back, whatever it was, whether for, it, it's, for some of you, it was definitely a relationship that you have... Um, Listen to your guides and you release this person for some of you. Um, and it's because you listened. Like you knew that this was um, some kind of lesson or something. It's intuitively you were like, wait a minute. This is deeper than I think. This is karmic. And you realized it. And you cut the karmic ties. 
um, for others of you, you're now, you've already done all that. And now when you go into any kind of partnerships or relationships, you're keeping it here. Who's part of my soul tribe? This is a soul tribe card for me, right? Who's part of my soul tribe? Who can I really enjoy my life with that isn't going to bring me down? I really don't want any more of this deep stuff that needs to be released. No more karma. I'm done with that. That's what I see going on here. It's like you're starting to realize this is all that clarity and that awakening you've gotten. It has to do with you realizing the difference between a soul tribe member and a karmic that you came here to dig deep with, to release old baggage with, right? Sometimes what we need to release is that person. Okay. So I tell people this all the time. People come to me and they're like, well, I can't. I mean, I've been going through this 15 years with this person. I can't release them now. I have a lot of work to do with them. We have to solve this karma. Honey, if you haven't solved it in 15 years, you know what the karma was? You were supposed to release this person so that you could have a healthy relationship. That was the lesson. Okay. So that's the hardest part for people to understand. Um, you would be surprised at how many people come to me thinking, I don't know where they've heard this it must be. I mean, there's a lot of bad stuff that goes on out there on the internet that people try and get convinced you guys that your twin flames are people that treat you horrible and all this stuff. They're not. Um, I don't believe in any of that stuff that they're, that your twin flame would ever treat you like a karmic would. Why would we have two different names for it? Right. Um, a karmic's a karmic. And you can't just put a label on it as twin flame and make that okay. If somebody's mistreating you, they're they're treating you karmically and they're treating you not right. Uh, you're supposed to release them. That's where the depth is there. It's time to release that person. So that you, this is the way your relationships are supposed to feel. You are supposed to have a kindred bond with someone who feels great. Who you can play with and have fun with and explore life with and celebrate with and celebrate each other and hold each other up on a pedestal and give a crap what happens to the other person right that's what a true kindred bond is this reading is all about someone who's i feel um who's figured all that out like boom like i know now i know who's in my highest good i know who's not in my highest good i know now with every relationship that comes at me, check, that person checks off the list as in gotta go. Check, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Whatever it is, you know, um, there's, you're all, all going to have your own checklist. There's the positive checklist too. Check, check, check. They check all the boxes, right? Um, there's going to, like, this is about someone who's just advanced in a way that now they see it they see the karmicness they have the clarity they've awoken to the fact that now they know what they do and don't want in their ace of cups and now this ace of cups is getting ready to come in for someone even if you don't know this is coming it's because you've risen to this higher level of um it's you're you're here you are you're being honored as the six of wands here you're being honored as somebody who doesn't mess around with disingenuous people and your only uh, eye on the prize is happiness and joy the um, happiness and joy card that we had at the end here the sisterhood brotherhood and play that's your focus um, you're releasing the deep dark relationships you know the difference now and that's what this reading's been all about I know the difference between a deep dark devil four of pentacles knight of cups reversed knight of wands reversed all these murky energies i know the difference now i see it i clearly see it hermit reversed i clearly see it seven of cups reversed i've gone through a healing period four of swords more clarity being gained as i discover with the two of swords as i discover with that same two of swords and i work with the universe on this um turning this wheel in the direction of positivity the moon reverse clarity about my new beginning ace of cups all the page of swords clarity after having no clarity with the high priestess and having to go within and work with the with uh spirit whatever's going on here you're absolutely getting clarity on what hasn't been in your highest good and what has held you back and where you need to be 
to be in your highest good and move forward. I love it. It's a great reading, guys. I hope that this makes sense to someone. Um, if you would, just comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I feel like this is that complete clarity and epiphany coming into someone that releases them from anything. It's like no more can you be fooled. I hope this makes sense to someone. Anyway, guys, please do comment down below. This was a way longer daily reading than it was supposed to be, but it was so, it had such a powerful punch to it. A lot of spiritual, look at all the spiritual cards that came out in this reading. I want you to see them. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> well, okay. So in your, in just this small reading, I mean, we definitely have you working with spirit here with this two of swords and the magician here, okay? You also have the sun reverse where you didn't have the clarity and you're getting it, right? But all of this is you working with spirit, hermit reversed and the two of swords blindfolded, but I'm going to make my mark because I'm listening and I'm paying attention. Judgment, the moon reverse, the high priestess reverse. I could have sworn there was another one too, but I don't see it now. Either and you know you're doing this healing thing too. You're you're laying low and healing. That's another card of going within. You're doing a lot of work here, uh, very positive work. That's going to be in your highest good. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please comment down below. Don't forget to like the videos and oh, also please guys, your weekly readings came out. I hope that you're watching them. And there's a lot of great daily readings that came out in the last few days. I hope you're checking them out. Okay, guys, talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye.